Hey guys, Peter Mitov here, Product Evangelist at Sitecore. Today I'm going to be covering our brand new Content Hub Digital Apps Connector, developed and released in partnership with our friends from Berlin, CI Hub. So in this video, I'm going to start by walking you through one of the main challenges that our digital asset management users are experiencing in their day-to-day -day work with creative tools and productivity apps and how the connector, the digital apps connector aims to solve these challenges. I'm going to go through how you can easily connect and install the connector in your creative apps and integrate it with your Content Hub DAM environment. We often see that our digital asset management users are struggling today is that when you're when you need to place an image from your DAM into a document or a layout, you first need to download that asset locally, store it on your desktop, which results in, in creating multiple copies of that image or that, or that media file, which obviously is not in line with the single source of truth principle. This leads to digital assets being scattered everywhere and where no visual control exists about metadata expiration and permissions as well as versioning. Another typical problem that we see is that full text search on asset metadata can only be performed in the in the digital asset management source system. Once you've stored your asset locally or in the creative app that you want to work on, the asset metadata is lost. Another pain point that we often see uh, related to the previous one is that searching and finding your assets from within the creative app can be complex. Since you don't have the access to your DAM from within the creative app, that results in, in, in a difficult searching experience for your assets. So you have to switch windows, you have to switch applications in order to search and find the assets that you need. When working with your creative app or productivity tools, you also need to often easily update or completely replace your asset that has been edited or worked on and it needs to be edited or replaced back into the source system. This is where the Content Hub Digital Apps Connector comes in, providing real-time access to your full Sitecore DAM digital assets repository to use within your favorite creative application, whether you're a creative designer working in Adobe InDesign or creating UX wireframes for your next mobile app, or you're a digital marketer creating an impactful marketing pitch deck the CI Hub in-app connector allows you to connect all of your different sources, whether this is a DAM, a PIM, a CMS, or a stock image provider, to use within your creative applications and productivity tools so that you can, you can use your single source of truth for your content and assets while creating your next graphics or layouts for your marketing efforts. The CI Hub in-app connector works with one of the leading creative applications, including Adobe Creative Cloud, Microsoft Office 365, Google Workspace, Figma, Sketch, WordPress. The connector supports the out-of-the-box DAM search filter and versioning capabilities and renditions from within the CI Hub app. You can drag and drop images and metadata into your layouts or documents, upload new assets and documents from within your favorite applications, as well as access your work in progress folders submitting for approval from within the CI Hub app and it also allows for simultaneous connections to stock providers. All right, so now that we're familiar with the Digital Apps Connector, what it does and how it can be of benefit for us, let's go through a few of the steps of registering our user, installing the connector in our creative apps and connecting to Sitecore DAM. The first thing I'm gonna do is gonna go to the CI Hub user registration portal. Once we're there, we're going to fill in the details and we're going to hit send. Once we have registered our user with CI Hub, we can now proceed to install the, uh, the different uh, CI Hub apps in Adobe Creative Cloud, in Google Workspace and Microsoft Office. So you can follow the step-by-step uh, -step guide in the welcome page in CI Hub. From the Adobe Exchange portal, we can find the CI Hub connector where we can install it into our different Adobe products. Now this includes Photoshop, InDesign, InCopy, Illustrator, Adobe Premiere Pro, and Adobe After Effects. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and install it. This is gonna open my Creative Cloud Desktop app. From here we can see that the connector is installed. Now that we've installed the CI Hub connector in our Adobe Creative Cloud, let's open up Adobe InDesign for example and connect our Sitecore dam to the CI Hub connector. From the InDesign main screen, let's open up extensions, click on CI Hub. Now this is going to open up the CI Hub panel. And then from here we can find a list of our existing connections. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete my existing Sitecore connection to show you how this works from, from scratch. So from my connections I'm going to click on add new collection connection. If I don't see Sitecore in my list of connections I'm going to click on show all and scroll all the way to as you, as you can see here we see all of the different source systems in the list which we can activate by clicking on visible for example if I want to add SharePoint as a, as a connection that I can use for a quick activation I can click on visible. In my case I want to have Sitecore in my list. Now it's already activated so I'm going to close this window and now I will click on add new connection. So I'll click on a new collection connection and I'm going to open up the Sitecore connection. Alright, so from here we can log in with our Sitecore credentials. So what we're going to do is we're going to enter the Sitecore URL of our DAM instance. I've got here a sandbox environment where I can demo the connection. So I'm going to add the Sitecore URL in the field here. I'm going to click on login. It's going to, the application is going to ask me to authorize to grant the CI Hub connector um, access to the application on my behalf. So I'm going to grant that application authorization. It's going to confirm. And if we go back to our InDesign window, we can see that Sitecore is added as a connection and we can start browsing through our assets. All right, that's it. This is how quick and easy it is to install the digital apps connector into our Adobe Creative Cloud into Adobe InDesign in this example. And we have also connected our Sitecore DAM instance in the connector. We can already start browsing for our assets and using the connector to create our layouts and next marketing graphics. And as a final note on the CI Hub connector, I wanted to show you on the CI Hub website, you can find a lot of videos on how to use the connector. If you go through their how to use portal, you'll find an academy, a video center, and a support page. Now in the academy, you can find quick guides on where we can find the CI Hub connector, how to install it, how to navigate, and, and many, many other training videos which will speed up our, our uh, process in learning and using the connector. All right, everybody, that's all I've got for you today. Let me know what you think about the Content Hub Digital Apps Connector by leaving a comment below. Thank you for watching and see you around.